Hey everyone, it's Kelly from Kelly's Magical Realm. I'm back for everyone with the pick a pile of the poetry cards. This is for anyone that picked the Lapis Lazuli Stone, the pile three of the poetry cards. So we're going to start that reading right now. And our first poem is called Irrevocable Pleasures. Irrevocable pleasures embodied my heart, treasured memories so timeless that will never part, fragrant memories of past lives lie dormant like spilled art, magnetic pulls of attraction make a combustible reaction. So if you pick this pile, looks like we've got some twin flames in here, as well as past life connections. All right, so we're gonna go on to the next one. Let's see, we have State of Disarray. I actually just wrote this poem. Stumbling and staggering, trying not to fall. As she trips, she holds on to the walls. She loosens her grip as she arrives at a door. She enters the room and takes a seat. As she, as she starts to feel numb, she tries to resist, but she can't succumb the pain. She puts her hands over her head and tries not to complain. Sometimes it feels like someone is carving into her brain, like a jack-o'-lantern on display, lit up in a state of disarray. This would be anyone that's going through an awakening right now, just trying to navigate your way through life. If it resonates, this is your pile. I'm gonna keep reading though. The next one is Rising from the Ashes. Rising from the Ashes. And if the truth be told, I no longer knew who I was after that final hit to the head. Left my body feeling dead, just completely nothing. I was like a zombie. I had no real thoughts or feelings. I lost all sense of identity as well as confidence and trust. In a sense, the old me died. Then I emerged out of my corpse, out of the ashes of my corpse, out of my lifeless body. A phoenix started to rise up. That's the second mention of awakening. So again, it's anyone that's starting to awaken, feeling different, rising up, new beginnings as well for this pile. Feeling out of sorts. The next one, it's called My Spirit Animal. I hear the ravens cry. It shows up every now and again. He sometimes sits outside my window, and some days he is wandering around my yard. He is my magical protector. So for anyone, this could be birds. Birds are trying to give you a sign. Uh, maybe raven. Raven could be your spiritual animal. But for this pile, spirit's trying to give you a message through birds that resonates with you, seeing a lot of birds. The next one is frequency healing. What is the sound of your frequency and the color of your heart? The music that illuminates your soul. Like in ancient times, in pyramids of healing, with sounds and vibrations, triangles of light that overlook the stars, planets that orbited near Venus and Mars, circles of healing, beings of light, stars that shine down, encompass encompassing your well-being. Wow, we've got a lot going on in this poem. The first thing uh, I want to say about this poem would be sound healing anyone that feels like a sound healer anyone attracted to music or arts uh, definitely this is a healer's pile anyone that feels 
uh, called to healing. Definitely anyone that had a past with ancient Egypt. It's also a starseed pile. Pile 2 is also um, ancient Egypt as well. So if you almost picked pile 2, you might want to check that pile out as well. Because it, uh, it is a little bit similar. Okay. And also anyone that might be able to read auras as well. Okay. Let's go to the last poem. This one is called The Violet Flame. I was mesmerized by this electrifying light. This violet flame, it calls out my name. It lit up my being and gave me meaning. It ripples out waves of love into the universe. It made me dig deeper into myself and the ether just to find out I am the violet flame. Thank you for your help, Saint Germain and your violet flame. He's an alchemist and a healer, a high spiritual dealer. The first thing from this, again, it mentions healing, being a healer, just like it did in the second poem. Also, alchemists we have in this pile. So anyone feels that they resonate to that or they resonate with Saint Germain. He's an ascended master. Maybe the Ascended Master, like Saint Germain, is trying to get to you to help you heal through the Violet Flame. Um, there's a lot of great YouTube readers about the Violet Flame, and that they talk more about how to do this. It's an amazing meditation. They have amazing meditations online about this. And again, um, healers, I would say from this, and it's calling out to you to heal yourself using this meditation. Um, digging deeper into yourself. It's a great meditation, though. So I'm just going to wrap up everything from this pile that we talked about. If you pick this pile, we it would be twin flames, past lives, someone that you met in a past life. You're on a twin flame journey. You're in awakening right now. You're going through that. Also, birds are trying to give you a sign. Raven could be your spiritual animal. Spirit's trying to give you a message. We've got some sound healers in this pile, or maybe you just feel drawn to sound healing or any type of music, musical instruments, arts. We've got healers in this pile. Uh, could be any kind of healing. Maybe sound healing, could be anything. Uh, maybe you're drawn to the violet flame type of healing. Ancient Egypt again. Again, we got an ancient Egypt pile. Pile 2 was also ancient Egypt, so if you felt kind of conflicted between pile 2 and 3, you might want to check out pile 2 as well. We've got star seeds in this pile. We've got a lot going on in this pile. My god. Healers in this pile, alchemists, and if you feel called to maybe Saint Germain, he's one of the ascended masters. He's trying to reach out to you. Okay, so that wraps up the reading for pile three. And thanks everyone for watching. If this resonated with you at all, you know, put your comment down below. Let me know what you think. This is my first video. And thank you for watching.